the hell is that? Well, what is this place? Taxidermy shop. I wonder what they were stuffing. I don't know. I don't want to know. Now, if we tell anybody about this place, the cops will be snooping around for months. They'll shut the job down. Right. Let's just dump it. I wish that slime would show up. I don't like this. It makes me nervous. It's gonna make you rich, Briggs. That little hooker says kazo has got the cash on him. What if we get caught? Nobody's gonna know about this but you, me, and Coslo. And he's not gonna say anything. We need to be sure of that. Do you want to wind up like me? Laying your ass on the line for 20 years for some lousy pension? We deserve that money. I guess we just have to trust each other. That's right, partner. Let's nail that bastard. Briggs a rat. Hey, I, uh, I found that. Where's the money? Where is it, you little weasel? Come on me! Someplace safe. You know, you guys are always one step behind. Nobody does a swap anymore. There's too many rip-off artists around. Gorman, Gorman! No, that go me. I'm gonna... You can't kill him! Oh! Kill me. You're a cop. Oh, yeah? Call it. Johnny, we're leaving now. If anybody needs us, we're at the Beer Bomb Estates evaluating their antiques, huh? You hear me? Oh, yeah. Mickey gave me the phone number. Is something wrong? No. Just that me and my dad, we always went fishing this time of the year. Johnny, I know the emptiness you feel when you lose somebody you love. Just give it time. Mickey and I will always be here for you. Hey, thanks, guys. 
Hey, are you sure you don't want to come with us? No, no, come on, huh? I'm waiting for the body shop to call me about my car. Come on, we could use your help. No, I'll be okay, really. Well, we'll be back before midnight. We approached the site and followed our suspect with guns down. Officer Briggs fell and I gave chase. I wounded the assailant, but he eluded me. As I searched the area, I heard a scream and discovered Coslo dead, his face marked with a brand. That everything? I'm uh, sorry about Briggs. Yeah. Why don't you take a few days off? No, I'd rather not. You okay? Homicide will probably want to talk to you anyway about this burn. Have they ever seen anything like this before? Yeah, they've got a couple unsolved with the same M.O. Well, they do? Yeah, one was a Times reporter named uh, Hewitt. They ran a story about it being related to witchcraft, but uh, nothing ever came of it. Take care. Said nothing from the manifest, but they gave us this for our trouble. Isn't she beautiful? Shh. A shootout between police and a known drug dealer has left one officer and his attacker dead. Officer Edward Briggs was declared dead at the scene, and in a bizarre twist, the drug dealer Romeo Coslo was also found dead near the shootout site, a ram's head branded into his forehead. Mickey! A year ago, two similarly mutilated bodies were found in a local cemetery. Those deaths remain unexplained, but police sources speculate that they may be murder rituals performed by a satanic cult. Turn that off. Mickey, we don't know that this is the coin. No. It's, it's back. Mickey! What's the matter with her? What, what is this coin you're talking about? Some time ago, we tracked down an antique coin, a coin of Zyocles. It was owned by the leader of a satanic cult. What did it do? First, it killed people. And then it could bring others back from the dead. Why is Mickey so... The coin killed her. Ryan and I were able to trick the coven into bringing her back. Well, how? I mean... We swapped her for a corpse that they wanted to revive. When the coin was placed on a forehead, she came back to us. And the coven escaped with this coin? No. Oh, the coven was destroyed. It was destroyed, and the coin was buried under Thousands of tons of rubble when the temple collapsed. Rubble and debris. And you think somebody dug this thing up? I don't know. I think she can be fixed. A little of the right kind of glue. She'll be as good as ever. I'm scared. Yeah. So am I. He killed me once. 
Let's just stop it from killing me again. We have to go after it, Mickey. Oh, no, no, no. You and Ryan got lucky last time. I'm not going to trust we'll be lucky again. That thing's after me. Oh, no, no, we don't know that, Mickey. Jack! Don't get yourself all worked up. You tricked it into letting me go. It wants me back. The most unusual aspect of this case is the ram's head burn. Research indicates the imprint resembles an item known to satanic investigators as the coin of Zyocles, which followers of witchcraft believe has the power to kill and raise the dead. to kill and raise the dead. This is it. This is where the taxiderma shop was? Yeah. It had uh, caverns beneath it, where the coven used to meet. Look, you guys stay here. I'm just going to take a look around. Another visitor. I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. No. But perhaps you'd like a closer look. There was nothing I could do. I, I just died. What was it like? What was it like to be dead? I gotta know. He was cold and empty. And he was waiting there for me. I could feel him. Who? Satan. Oh, Mickey, come on. Don't talk like that. Chances are that coin's still buried. It's not. Listen, I'm... I can't wait here. I'll meet you back at the store. Do you realize what we can do with this? We can bring Coslow back to life and find out where he hid the money. Then I'll get to kill him myself. Yeah, in 24 hours, we'll be in Rio with over a million bucks. Hey, we we'll have enough money to get you patched up real good, too, pal. What about the coin? I'm holding on to it. 
Who knows when we may need it again? So who are you going to kill so we can get Coslow back? Rita. That little hooker who tipped us off to him. Yeah. Rita. Tonight we pay her back. Find Coslow's money. And retire. Whatever you say, partner. Where's Mickey? Uh, she couldn't hang around anymore. She went back to the store. Uh, Did you find anything out? I couldn't get past the police barricade. That's where the shootout happened last night, all right? The drug dealer with the brand. Mm. Had to be that coin of ours, I'm afraid. So what are you going to tell Mickey? I think I should do everything I can to keep Mickey out of this one. All right. What's the next step? We have to find out who was here last night. I'll go on down to the police station and see what I can turn up without arousing suspicion. No, no, Jack, let me do that. My father had a lot of friends in the force. And besides, they're more likely to help me than you. Hey, Johnny. Sarge. It's been too long. Yeah. What brings you here? I heard about that cop that got killed last night. Reminded me I haven't seen you since my dad died. Still miss Vince, don't you? Yeah. Sarge, about last night, that uh, drug dealer, uh, Kozlo, yeah. what happened? It's weird, all right. Nobody was there except the dead officer's partner. He didn't see much. Anybody I know? I think so. Parker Gorman, is his name. Look, I got to run these reports upstairs. Um, I'll be back, though. Aren't you, uh, sit down and get yourself a coffee. Okay. Thanks. she doing? It's about the same. She's convinced that whoever has the coin has her targeted. This might make her feel better. Briggs, the cop that died, had a partner named Gorman, who was the only witness. Paper said he didn't see a thing. Well, they might be wrong. Because while I was there, a report came in from the morgue. Another killing. Briggs' body has disappeared. Oh, my God. So, the coin is back. Someone's using it. Mickey, maybe it's OK. It's given life. Now it's ready to kill again. Mickey, let's be sure of all this before we jump to any conclusions. Gorman's a cop. I mean, he just wants to see his partner alive again. I can understand how he feels. Johnny, it doesn't work that way. Well, Mickey was dead and she's OK. That coin didn't turn her to some zombie. No, it didn't. So what's the difference? Briggs will be the same way he was before he died, a good cop. Johnny, we'll talk about all this later, all right? Taking you downtown. Briggs, I heard you were dead. You heard wrong. Get in the car. No way. I haven't done anything. Yeah? Uh. Oh. Paige! Especially cops. 
Oh, shut up. Just do it to her, Gorman. <laughs> what is this? Two for one night? I won't keep quiet about this. I'll scream bloody murder if you two even touch me. Don't worry, Rita. Nobody's gonna lay a finger on you. I miss you. I used to talk to you when I was scared. And I really need to talk to you now. I don't know what to do. And I can feel my time running out. understand what happened after I'm dead. How long before both of us are killed by one of those objects? If you give up your will to live, you're letting this thing destroy you. After me, Jack, there's no escape. I'm sure of it. Listen to yourself, Mickey.
mind, Pop. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, let's... Why didn't you kill him? I didn't have a chance. Maybe you didn't have the guts. Don't worry, I got a pretty good idea where he's going. Where? The same place we'd go if we had it. The cemetery. The cemetery? Yeah. I overheard him talking to the side just after now. He's got somebody he'd like to head back to. His father. I remember this place. Yeah. I thought we could be alone here. You know, like old times. Are you okay, Pop? Since I've seen you, I feel like a new man. How about your bullet wound? Ah, uh, that's nothing. It's just like a scratch. I don't even feel it. Listen, Pop, I'm gonna go to the lodge and make a phone call. I'll be back in a little while, right? <laughs> Can't leave those women alone, can you? Hey, Johnny, did you find anybody special yet? Well, don't worry. It'll happen. Somebody will come along just like Ma. When it happens, you'll know it. Just like Dad, you know it. Go ahead. I'll pitch the tent. It never was your specialty, was it? for a guy named Johnny Ventura. Come on. Where's Johnny? I don't know. Phone his apartment and I get some message about gone fishing. What? Doesn't make sense. He wouldn't walk out on us now at a time like this, would he? Is that you, Johnny? Listen, Jack. Where are you? It doesn't matter. Um, Foreman and Briggs have the coin, and I'm following them. I'm sure I can get it back, but it might take a couple days. Stay away from them, Johnny. That coin's far too dangerous. You don't know. Listen, I can take care of this, Jack. Believe me. Johnny, no! Wait! Damn. First Ryan, now Johnny. Mickey, if you're going to let your fear get the better of you, you're no use to either of us. You weren't the one who was killed by this thing. That's in the past. Let it go and get on with your life. You don't know what it's like to be dead. You're not dead now. You're alive. So start acting that way. It's happening all over again. They're going to kill Johnny. And they're going to bring more people back from the dead. That's the point. They will unless we stop them. I used to come here when I was your age, whenever I wanted to be alone. And I'd look up at that big blanket of stars. And whatever it was that was bothering me didn't seem so important anymore. You should try it. I don't get much of a chance, Pop. Things have changed since you. 
since we last talked. I'm dealing with things that I never thought I'd have to. Some of it's really hard. It'll get better. It always does. Problems don't go on forever. Now that lasts. That goes on forever. Everything else passes. Remember that. Missed you, Pop. Where's your mom, Jeff? She should be here. Where is she? Maybe it's okay. Maybe she knows. She knows that there were lots of things that I never got to say. That's too bad. I guess I'll just have to kill you, old man. Johnny, what's going on? Don't do it! Hand it over! What, what do you say? We flip for it. No, no. Give us a coin and, and you and your father can walk out of here. Get in the car, Pop. We got what we want. I'm gonna nail that kid. What, are you insane? In a few days, he'll be looking for us. Don't let them look. We can take care of anybody we want with the flip of that coin. Give it to me. Nah, safer with me. Give me the coin. <sighs> what are you gonna do, Briggs? Kill me? Sorry, partner. I don't think Johnny was here when this happened. I wasn't. Vince! Who are these people? You used that coin to bring him back. Jack used it to get you back? What the hell are you thinking of? He's fine. He's... It's just the way I remember. How could you do this? How could you lie to us? Johnny, what's going on? Will you get out of here? Leave us alone. Johnny, he's not your father. It's just it's whatever's left of his body. Get out! There's the coin. What have you done with it? I was going to bring it back to you after. Where is the coin? Gorman's got it back. Oh, my God. It's probably on its way to the cemetery. You better get there first. Jack. You stay out of this, and stay out of everything we do from now on. Johnny, what's going on? Certainly newly dug up, isn't it? Jack, what about that car? It could be them. Well, if it is, where are they?
You showed up just in time. going on? You okay? What's happening here? Pop, I used something to bring you back. Something cursed. Johnny, what about your ma? Is she okay? I can't kill him. You've got to.
Will this bring him back to where he was? He earned a place in the hereafter where he was happy. I don't think anything can change that. Johnny. We'll talk again. I know we will. I know it. the way you really was. I killed him. Oh, no, you allowed him to rest in peace. I, I shouldn't be here. I don't, know, I don't know how to deal with this stuff. That's not true. You taught me that I care more about you two than anything else, even my own life. I'm really sorry that this all happened. All I wanted was my father back. But instead, I had to lose him all over again. It's all right. He understood. Johnny. You've got us. We'll always be there for you. Always. 